Fresh out of the Toronto Blue Jays training camp in Florida, the 2009 Lugnuts are at home in Lansing. Most players hail from the Sun Belt and at least one from further south. Um, from Perth, Australia. I hate the cold. <laughs> and as usual at the single A level. We have from some young kids that were high school guys out of the draft last year. One of those young talents is outfielder Kenny Wilson, who went 63rd overall in the 2008 Major League Draft. He's moved up to the Lugnuts after a season in the Gulf Coast League. Last year I didn't hit the ball all that well during uh, store and short season and uh, hit the ball a lot better during spring, so I think that, that helped me get to where I am. The guys that were here last year had done enough you know, to uh, make the move to the next level, and we hope a lot of these guys can uh, continue to get better and you know, hopefully at some point during the year um, you know, or maybe next year be ready to make that same jump. Things should be moving just as well in the box office as the warm rays of spring burn through the gray clouds of recession. Ticket sales are going well. We've really tried to focus, keep our ticket prices the same. Haven't raised them in five years now. Tickets are as cheap as seven bucks, so we're still cheaper in a movie. The ballpark has plenty of special events on the schedule, including Pink Floyd and Neil Diamond tribute shows, 70s, 80s, and 90s nights, a circus night for the kids, and lots of fireworks. Thirsty Thursdays will be back with $2 draft beers and fans will eat cheap on Dollar Dog Tuesdays. They come on Tuesday night with your kids, you buy four tickets for 28 bucks, you can get 10 hot dogs, you spend 38 bucks out the door, so it could be a pretty cheap night. Despite a small drop in sponsor dollars this season, Greaser expects minor league baseball to perform well in tough times. At Oldsmobile Park, Dave Raven, Home TV.